Hello, hello. Who's up for some coloring tonight? Say hello, hello when you come on. Hello, hi Mickey. Hi Ellen. I thought we'd play tonight with some flowers. So I haven't really done flowers in a long time, in a while, so. And this hummingbird, isn't this hummingbird so super duper cute? I think we're gonna color her that hummingbird as well, cause how fun would that be? And we don't have to be in a rush tonight cause it's Friday. And tomorrow, new release. Super exciting, huh? I'm trying to get all these lights out of the way so you guys you can't see them in the reflection. Although my glass mat is always so dirty, but hey, you know, it is what it is. I noticed the other day, ooh, earthquake. I'm scooting up close to my table. So I realized today I colored some cobblestone. I don't know if you guys have ever done that or seen that before. But I colored some today, and it wiped out my W's. So now, oh, what's the new release going to be? Do you want a sneak peek? <laughs> I know Jamie showed a sneak peek this morning. Hi, Brenda. And so did Cameron on his. So if you watch those two lives today... then you probably got a little sneak peek already. But you know, because I love you guys so much and you came to see me, I guess I could give y'all a sneak peek tonight too. I'll share a little bit of my cobblestone I did today. So you gotta look quick because you don't get to see a whole lot. So I gotta cover most of it up. But, do, 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 do. You see that? Oh my gosh, the best ever. Bet you can't wait. I do have to refill my markers and I have them all right here ready to go. So we're not going to use great W's today <laughs> because I have to refill my markers. You saw that? You saw that sneak peek? You saw that? You saw that? You had to look fast. So this is with great love. We are gonna have to fussy cut this one when we get it done just because we don't have any dies for this one. This was, this one's a while back. It was before we um, jumped into making the <laughs> teaser, teaser. You're gonna wanna watch tomorrow morning when Jamie goes live and then I'll go live in the afternoon with all of my cards I made for this. Um, release and it's I made 12 cards for this release so you won't want to miss that live you almost colored this today huh well since you didn't I thought I would so this is my misty I already chose some pattern paper to put behind it so I'm not going to color the background. I'm just going to stamp these on there. But I want to color the hummingbird and the flowers tonight. I'm just feeling like that. Dude, 12 cards. Yeah. I'm working hard today. I already had them colored, so that was a step ahead. But, but I did get them all made tonight. And I... I didn't do them all simple either, so I did um, some of them with some dies that I had. Oh, oh, good. I'm glad you went with the middle size. That's what I would have recommended, so I'm glad you did because I think you'll be happy with that. I mean, this one, I got this one for traveling when I already had the bigger one, but I tend to use that one just as much.
two in the middle and three in the small. Jamie, you're out of control on your misties. Okay. So just a little bit about the misty. Let me just show you something. So this misty, it has a guide sheet and this helps you line up words and such. I don't use that all that much. I'm pretty good at eyeballing. And then it has this little rubber, like not really rubber, but like foamy mat in the middle of it. So when you stamp rubber stamps, you take the foam out so you have a deeper drop here. So you can tell there's like a pretty deep drop right there. Maybe if I show you my marker, it's about that deep. So you can do your rubber stamps and then when you do your photopolymer, you put the foam back in and then it stamps really well. So just in case you had any questions about that or you couldn't get it to work right or, or you just got one like Ellen, now you'll know how to use it. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Yes, if you like the slimline cards, you need the bigger one, that's for sure. I like slimline cards too. I don't make them that often because I have all the envelopes and all the storage pockets and the clear sleeves and everything for um, for I might have got too much on those little feet too much ink on those little feet but we'll see oh no not bad very good that worked out really good Yes, these bar ones, they're, they are legit. I got mine from Stampin' Up, but I think you can get them from some other places too. A lot of people have said they've broken their, their magnets, but I haven't had that problem. They, I put washi tape around them so that if they get stuck together, they're easier to pull apart. So that's really helpful. It's also another little trick I use. Oh, you got yours from Misty? Oh, no. <laughs> Can't find a charger for your phone? Well, 20% is not going to take you all the way through this live, I bet you. So I'm just spraying with my little Tim Holtz water bottle onto my, my little cleaner here so I can clean my stamp. kind of dry it off a little bit because it gets a lot of water on it so I can put them away and then put it in my nifty little device that we'll have in this shop soon squeak squeak you got yours at the Denver Expo I got mine at an expo as well but I looked them up the other day for um, for our friend Ellen when I was talking to her on the phone they have them at Amazon. Scrapbook.com is the cheapest place I found them when you aren't. Um, this is how I put mine up. Jamie says she can't do hers holding it up. But that's how I put mine away. So, yeah, I looked them up because Ellen asked me about it and I wanted to be right. So... I checked on it for her. So like I said, if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be glad to help in any way I can. Again, this one's with great love and it is in the shop. It's super fun to color. You'll see because we're going to do it tonight. So I also put some uh, washi tape look on my Misty cover so I can lift it up easily. But those are just a few little tricks that I've used along the way. And then I store it in this amazing Make It By Marco thing. Look, just sits right in there like that on my desk so it doesn't take up too much space. I super love this thing. You can't tell when you look at Look, it's got hearts. Isn't that cute? So that's how I store it. I 
I do like them back exactly in place when I put them up. I'm very picky about that. Oh no, you may be at 10%. You're, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh-oh, that's not gonna be so good. So I'm not sure if we should do the hummingbird first or the flowers first. I'm gonna kind of stick with the same colors. I've already picked up Clutter Keeper, that's it. Mm-hmm, the Clutter Keeper. You should tag her since I'm talking about her stuff. I like, I like that a lot, the Clutter Keeper. It saves a lot of space on my desk. So I think we're gonna make pink flowers tonight. So that's gonna be super fun. What? You don't have Y11 in this in stock in the shop? Oh, airline prices are out of control. I can't take it. The madness on that. That is just so disappointing. <laughs> okay. So when I start, I want to go ahead and start with the inside of these little flowers here. And this little one that looks like he lost all his petals already. So I'm going to start with E09, YR27, YR23, and YR21. And that's, that's only four colors. If I need more, we'll add more later. <laughs> yeah, apparently you don't live in the right place for sure. Okay, so we zoomed in a bit so we could see what we were doing. So now E09 is what we're going to start with. And our awesome little holder here. Now... With this one on the ends, I'm just going to hold the marker upright and really just pull these teeny tiny, really tiny brush strokes all out because I want this to look a little bit on the fuzzy side. So I'm kind of filling in all along like building a little wall around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. You guys know that every time we say that. We can't help ourselves. But I'm building this little wall and then I'm coming out with these teeny tiny little brush strokes. The lighter you touch, the tinier they'll be. <laughs> it's funny that you almost did this one today. It means great minds are thinking alike. I made so many cards tonight. I almost wasn't ready for my live. Okay, there's this little area in the middle that I want to kind of stand out. So I'm going to put some dark around that. I am doing Floral Friday too. Yes, I am. So mine's quite different than the awesome mad party ones that we had today. I might even have to try that tonight because I didn't get to color with Tyler because I was making cards. So there we go. Doesn't it already look a little fuzzy? No, it's not a rule. We're, we just give Jamie a hard time because she just can't help herself. She wants to do five all the time and if not five, seven. <laughs> Nate, things usually happen in like, hi Kaylee, in uh, odd numbers, so, but I just use however many I think I need. <laughs> I don't play by the rules, I go rogue. That's me, Rogue Sandy. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do some different, I'm going to do the same type of brush strokes, but I'm going to try to do them more in between where the other ones were. 
to kind of start filling this in. I'm also going to do some just random ones in here. I'm also going to go around that a little bit. So there we go. We're starting to get a real, real fuzzy little guy. Yes, bridge colors to connect. But when the colors are close, you can kind of get away with not having five. And mine aren't going in any specific order, really. E09 and YR27, that's like way off the ballpark from each other, but they blend very well together. They're my favorite for inside flowers. Oh, that's okay, we just started. We're doing uh, With Great Love is the name of the stamp set. And I thought I'd stick with uh, Floral Friday. I didn't do that on purpose, but Jamie just pointed that out, that I was doing florals as well on the same day as Tyler did. How many of you caught Tyler's Floral Friday? If you guys didn't see that live, it's one I would definitely recommend going back and watching because it was super cool and he did such a great job. Oh, yay! It was awesome. He did a real good good time. No, he's coming tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to get him tomorrow. I talked to him on the phone tonight, and he's super excited about being at Grandma's house tomorrow, and he gets to spend the night, so it feels like a big party for him. Tomorrow night. At, well, tomorrow after his swim lessons. He's taking swim lessons, so. Oh, yeah. You watched the replay? Yeah, he did a good job. That's my dog sneezing, by the way, in case you heard that. He's sitting up under my feet, sneezing. So I want that, that centerpiece to stay um, really light, so I used my colorless blender, the Zero, to bring that out a little bit. But I'm pretty happy with that. If I wanted it to be darker, I'd put more EO9 in there, but I don't think so. One more week and then you get to see yours. It's so exciting when you get to see them, huh? It's been a while since I saw mine. A couple weeks. So I'm going back to my E09 so I can work on the next one. Again, with my marker straight up and down. So I can get teeny tiny. Jack, are you all right down there? All that, that sneezing going on. This weather is killing us. It got back down in the 30s again. I mean, come on, I'm in Texas. Where is that spring weather? I would, inquiring minds want to know, when is the spring coming? So don't forget, I know, did he sniff flowers? I don't know, I know. <laughs> My dog is making you sneeze. <laughs> He does that sometimes. He did just come in from outside, so he must have been into something out there. He does that sometimes. Gets a sneeze on. But, uh, yeah, it got really cold here again. I really hate that. Earlier, my husband said, Hey, are we going to do date night tonight? And I was like, um, ugh, nine degrees in Iowa, ugh. Yes, bare feet and sweatshirts. And I told him, nope, I gotta see my friends on my live tonight, so we can't do date night tonight. Plus I had to get all my stuff ready for my, for my, for the release tomorrow. Release, release. Tomorrow's release is gonna be exciting. Jamie, are you gonna do your video at 9 a.m.? Mountain time?
you'll start seeing our design team will start sharing a whole bunch of stuff with you first thing in the morning probably and then I have a bunch too so I'll be sharing a bunch as well I'm gonna put a little bit of these in here really really light thousand notifications in the morning <laughs> no this is not a new release the new release will show tomorrow I showed a snippet of one of them at the beginning of the live but you're gonna have to go back to see it there have been lots of sneak peeks today in all different stamp sets so but we're really gonna be super super duper excited I'm extremely excited about mine in the new release super proud of it so can't wait to hear what you guys think I was gonna go down there to that one but I forgot to use it the YR27 so I'm gonna have to go back <laughs> this one's YR21 Just going to fill in some of the white spaces. Not a whole lot of this one. I don't want to fade out the color at all. What time is the release? That's what I want to know too. Jamie? Yes, I have some art tomorrow. I always have at least one stamp set in the release. That's my artwork. And I'm super excited about this one because I stepped out of my comfort zone when I drew this one. So I'm super proud of it. Oh, I already did E09. I gotta do this little bitty one right down here. I think Jamie, aren't you doing your live at like 9 Mountain Time? <laughs> Hi, Tyler. There we go. Now we got Cameron on here. We can ask her what time the release will go live. Because, you know, if Tyler's here, Cameron's got to be here too. And, Tyler, I stuck with your... Floral Friday. Not on purpose, but just turned out that way. Okay, so we have our little, the little centers of our flowers ready to go. They look super cool. I'm really happy with those. I will not be live at 6 a.m. <laughs> I didn't figure you would. I'm going to skip the E09, but I'm going to go up and do a few things on this little hummingbird. So I'm going to do the base right closest to, of his beak, right closest to his face. And then some of his little talons that are real close to his body. It's only seven for you. Six, seven, eight. That's eight for me. I won't be up. I gotta get some sleep in the morning because uh, if Cooper's coming over, he's gonna wear me out. Not a bad thing. You you won't be live yet. What time do you want to go live? I can set my alarm and get up because I want to see your cards too. I don't want to miss your live. You can't time around here. I'm going to get that down so I can say it. Just like Jamie does. I still have to Google it sometimes. The different time zones. And don't even get me started on our people who are out of the country. Daylight savings time's coming around as well. That's right. 
So don't forget when we go live on Monday that the time will have changed. Yeah, we all have our own little, little quirks about our coloring. So everybody can just take which ones work for them. And then bits and pieces from everybody and then they'll everybody's will be different okay so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves next and the stems and I've chosen four colors for that as well right our phones are smart we have smartphones g07 yg45 YG05 and YG11. Oh, you should have saw my phone was so confused when I was traveling through all the different time zones <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> it was insane. So, G07. I didn't figure I had enough big enough spaces to do more um more colors than that. So I'm going to start with my darkest up in here where the um, where the stems are. Spring forward. I like it. I like it. I'm okay with it springing forward. <laughs> Looking forward to Monday. Hi, Holly. Thanks for joining us. We're coloring some flowers from the With Great Love set. Get back to your time zone. It always messes me up, though, because my son is in Arizona, and they don't do the time change. So... We always get confused as, are we ahead, are we the same, are we one hour or two hours off? It gets very confusing for us. I don't really understand why some of us change and some of us don't. It's crazy. So I'm just building in some veins in these leaves. Hi, Mama. We're doing the With Great Love set tonight. Feeling some flowers. Tyler got me in the mood. It's his fault. Blame him. Or thank him, whichever way you want to look at that. Because <laughs> he made me feel like doing flowers tonight. Maybe when I get done, I might do the one. Linda is watching. Let's all be like Arizona. Yep. No time, cha no time changes for Arizona. So tomorrow when I go, um, tomorrow when I go live, I believe to show my cards for the new release, I believe Cooper will be here then. So, just to prepare you, there might be some extra entertainment from the grandbaby. I'm just going to do all these leaves at the same time. So, when is brunch? I think... That's why I was trying to figure out when Jamie was going to do her live. I'll give you enough time in between to run some errands and do some stuff you need to do. And, and then I'll do mine. So let's just say maybe around 2 o'clock Central Time. Let's go ahead and choose a time. 2 o'clock Central Time, I will go live and show my cards for the new release. And I made 12 of them, so we got lots to show.
crunches after your live, shoot, I'm usually barely even up, let alone eating anything. Can you guys hear the can you guys hear the 3D printer tonight? It is running. YG45. No, we have the marker holders in the shop now. So you might want to check that out if you were interested in getting one. We're assuming you guys are going to wipe those out. Oh, on Monday, not tomorrow. Oh, for you guys to go to brunch. Oh, I can't be invited because I'm in Texas. <laughs> Let's go to this one next. That's disappointing. I can zoom. I can zoom for lunch. That sounds like fun. Let's do a little bit of this one too. Now. Can she be your mom? <laughs> 10 a.m. Central Time. Normal time of her regular release. Excellent, Jamie. Excellent. I don't want to wait till 10 p.m. though to do my cards. So I'll show them midday. We'll say 2 o'clock. I'll put a notice out there that says, I'll be live at 2 o'clock. <laughs> okay, so I chose YG05 because I want to bring out a little bit of brightness in these leaves. So this will be a more of a yellowish color that will pop into these leaves. Not sure I thought my darkest color was dark enough, but we can always go back in if we decide. I don't know though, they're turning out pretty cute, so I think we might we might just stick with it. Roll with the flow. Trying to choose some different colors than what we did today, so you guys can see some new stuff. You guys are talking when I can't read everything. But as long as you guys are entertaining, I'm all for that. But if you ask something and I miss it, just ask again. I'm going to be doing a lot of coloring this weekend. I picked up some stamps for Cooper to color, so I gotta stamp some for him. <laughs> okay, so these are really bright green leaves, not like natural green leaves, because I chose these papers to do the card, and I wanted the, the colors to match. So that's why I chose those colors. Ooh, I almost pulled my card out. You almost got another sneak peek. Here's YG11. This is pretty light. I like to use this YG11 when I'm doing grass. That didn't sound good, huh? Cooper likes to color the stamps. He really does. So when I took him to, the last time we went shopping together at a little scrapbook store close to us, I took him with me and he chose these old timey cars and we, I stamped them out and he colored them and I made them into magnets and they use them on their fridge. But he always wants to help and color. He colors with me all the time. He likes superheroes a lot. So I got him the superheroes from Scrappy Boy while I was at the convention. And I can't wait to show him. He's going to be so excited. He'll get to color him. 
Oh, you turned your Dutch brothers into magnets. That's a good idea. I did. I did get him Scrappy Boy Superheroes. He's going to have so much fun with those. I'm going to lay these aside because we're going to use them again on the hummingbird. But for right now, we're just doing the flowers. So I chose this pink combo. It's going to hop around a little bit. Um, RV29. I'm always trying to come up with new ideas to do with him. RV14. I found him some cut out wooden monster trucks too and he really likes those. And dinosaurs, of course. RV25, RV14, RV25, RV43, and R32. Oh, that's only R43. Sorry. That marker holder, my husband made that. It's amazing. I love it. It is super handy and definitely helps. How old is he? Are you talking about my grandson? He's four. He is four, but he's been crafting with grandma for a while. We always buy the, the little foamy holiday things. So we did bunnies the last time he was here. We talked about the Easter Bunny coming. We did snowmen at, Hall at um, Halloween, at Christmas. <laughs> Jamie is your bonus daughter. Yeah, you're lucky on that one. Huh? You're lucky on that one, eh? So I'm doing these um, these petals. I want to get the center part and then anything that's overlapped by another. So like down here, right here, this petal is over this petal. I want these uh, artist drawn lines in here. <laughs> oh, six and eight. Yours are a little bit older than mine. I made him his flashcards that he uses. I made flashcards for him. I also made him a book that had pictures of mom, dad, uh, grandma, grandpa, things like that, so he could... Um, so he wouldn't have, you know, when he was learning how to say all the different things. So I put like his blanket and his high chair and stuff like that. I do the fun grandma stuff. I never felt like I had a lot of time to do that when I had my own little ones. So... I'm taking advantage of doing them with the grandbaby. So I'm only going to do one flower at a time. So I want to keep the ink somewhat wet. Mm -hmm. I like it when they like the craft room. Yes, we do. <laughs> Massive amounts of clothes and toys and fun stuff. I can't help myself. Okay, so gonna pull out this dark shade a little bit more with this lighter one. Not using too awful much because I still have three more colors to go. I've colored this one quite a bit. Oh, yeah. They have so many superhero things now. So I bought him this Spider-Man hoodie. And when you put the um, hoodie on, it does the Spider-Man mask. <laughs> yeah, so we get him gummy bear shaved ice. He loves it. I decided when he was born that my thing was going to be um, Icy's 
and like whenever he comes to see grandma he gets to have shaved ice or ices or something yes you do like buying for him too if he doesn't get it from grandma he gets it from Gigi he's gonna be spoiled but he's a good boy so Okay, so we're getting somewhere on her. Yeah, gummy bear shaved ice. Mm-hmm, it's good. It is. We get it at Bahama Bucks. Because I don't have a Dutch Brothers here, I have to go to Bahama Bucks. RV25. Yes, see, the snow cone thing. See, I just think that's an awesome little surprise. So if we... If we can't get a Slurpee, we go to Taco Bell and get their frozen drink, or we go to Sonic. Bahama Bucks if we can, because it's better, and it has gummy bears. But you can get gummy bears in your drink at Sonic, too. But we're in the car, and I say, are you thirsty? And he's like, yes. You know he's yes, because he knows Grandma's going to get him the Slurpee of some sort. I don't know why you haven't heard of that. They have them at a couple of different places. You should check it out. If you like gummy bears and you like slushies, that's the thing for you. This is my third color, so I'm using a little bit more of it and going around the outside of the areas. It's probably driving my husband crazy that he can't do the pounding tonight because he was doing that earlier. I was like, I'm about to go live. You're going to have to quit doing that. Oh, he does like Yemenade. He says Yemenade. <laughs> if he doesn't get a Slurpee and ask him what he wants, he wants Yemenade. <laughs> uh, yep, he does say Yemenade. Round the outside, yep. I have a feeling I might say that often tonight. <laughs> so two more colors. The next one will fill in most and just leave some highlight areas for our last color. Isn't this pr pink pretty? So I don't know how many, show me by thumbs up how many of you have the Copic app on your phone. <laughs> yep, exactly. I guess nobody? Nobody has the the Copic app on their phone? You can track your... Yeah, there's a Copic app. app Copic app that you can track your markers, what you own, what you still need to get. But there's this cool little thing on there that I used tonight. Yeah, it's really neat. I do use the hex chart, but sometimes I want to know what is the best color, that complementary color for the combos that I chose. So, yeah, there is. There's a Copic app, and there's a place on it. So if you guys get it and you don't, you can't find it, let me know. But when you when you choose a color in the one that has the little grid like this with the little things like this, there'll be a section that has these little dot, these little triangles on it. It looks kind of like that. And when you click on that, it'll give you the whole line of Copic markers. And you pick a color. So I picked this BG color that we're gonna use next. And I said, tell, I clicked on the little button that says, C dot 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 P or something like that. And um, when you click on that, it tells you all the complementary colors to the BG color that I chose. And um, and sometimes I need that for complementary colors, but the rest of the time I use the hex chart. Although I noticed tonight, Jamie, I need to recolor my hex chart because 
the colors are not accurate anymore. Like I'm going to need to recolor it. And I noticed I missed a petal right there, but we'll get that when we do this one. But I'll show you what I mean. So this is my hex chart, okay? And I looked tonight and I said, look at that YG06. That's the color that I want, right? I want that YG06. So I took my YG06 and I colored it on here. And I was like, that is not, that it, this has faded. So, yeah, so that's why I resorted back to the Copic app because I'm going to have to recolor it. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I need to recolor my, um, my Copic chart. So this one is R32. So I'm just going to fill in the last with that. It's a very light, and it's going to really, like, it's really going to change you see how light it is? It's going to really give that, that light tone effect to this. So I really liked this one when I chose it to be my... So pretty. Very smooth, but very light. So I think it works really good with this one. Jack, wake up. Can you hear Jack? He's dreaming. Yes, exactly. So that's right. I agree, Jamie, and that's why I need to recolor mine, although it is such a beast. So I'll probably do a small, recolor a small one instead of the big one. So pretty. Now we have to do this one. I'm going to do it the same color. Yes, I do refill mine all the time. They don't get much, much time to go low on color before I'm filling them. Wrong time of day for Archie. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jack's down there making noises. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he's dreaming. I usually yell at him, but I'm trying to resist. I usually wake him up. Because he wakes me up at night, so. All's fair. So I'm holding the marker upright so I can get those really thin lines because these are teeny tiny petals. I'm gonna come over here and do a little bit from here. Oh, Archie, snoring in your lap. See, both those dogs are snoring already. Mine and yours. They're tired. And <laughs> dog kisses. Love it. This one is like a split petal. Wait till we color this. Um, yours is snoring next to you too. Two percent. You are gonna lose this. You better go find that plug. Either that, or you can just move on to reading your book. Good night. See you for release tomorrow. Thank you for joining. We're moving right along here, doing really good on this. I'm putting some little tips on the end of these. I don't know, I just felt like it'd be neat to do something a little different on this one than on the other one. So... Oh yeah, keep that snow there. I don't want any snow. 
it already got cold here. I had a bad, bad headache this morning because when that temperature varies like that, it triggers migraines for me. But I was able to fend it off this morning and I was super happy. But you can keep all that snow. Toodles, Jamie. See you in the morning. So tomorrow when you guys see us live, you'll really get to see us. We'll be face on the camera. It looks, I bet it looks really pretty. You should send me a picture after we get off the live or tomorrow when you get up. I love to see it. I just don't like to be in it. It's so pretty. Heck, I found out it was going to be 39 or 38 here today, and I decided, mm-mm, I'm not going outside today. You like seeing our faces? We'll be all faces tomorrow. Lots of lovely faces. So we got this one petal back here that I'm doing that's for this flower, but it's or it could, yeah, it's for that flower behind that I missed. Thanks, Mama. I am super stoked about the release tomorrow, you guys. I can't even tell you how excited I am. I think it's a really, really awesome release. I have been waiting, I have been waiting and waiting, like, a while <laughs> for the this release to come out. I've known about it for a couple months and I, I just could not wait. So when Jamie shows them tomorrow, she'll tell you which one's mine. So you'll know which one's I'm not which one I'm the artist on. She usually tells that. There are five, I think, maybe hold on, let me check. I think it's five different stamp sets. Let me look real quick. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually six. Six stamp sets tomorrow. Six new ones. Six brand new stamps. Isn't that exciting? All four by six sets. All big sets. Very exciting. Look at these pretty pink flowers. You guys should try this color combo. It's a very simple one because the colors flow really nicely together and there's not a lot of work to blend them. I know, right? Oh my, six new ones. It's just gonna make you guys wish list grow longer. But remember, we'll have a special. If you buy all the things, you'll save money. So watch for that. And it usually only the um, the saving money to get all the all the things. Yes, it is exciting. Um, is only is usually only for the weekend. So keep that in mind when you're deciding what you think what you want to get and then the Copic refill stations and the Copic holders are also in the shop so don't forget to check those out while you're there tomorrow and this one of course is in the shop so if you really like this one you could just throw that one in 
for good measure. This one is really fun to color. You could color the background if you want. You could color the diamond shapes if you want. Just anything you want to do with it, you can. I may put some color back here, but not. I don't want to put any inside these triangles. So I want to leave some white in there. I might use my colorless blender to in those lines, but you know, because I don't like anything to stay pure white. It's not really pure white anyway. This paper is not really pure white. It's definitely exciting. I'm super excited. Plus, I just think you guys are going to love what what we have coming out. That's why I think I'm so excited. Well, I could color for a long time tonight because <laughs> I don't have to get up early in the morning. I just have to get up to see Jamie's pretty face. R32 is my last color and although it looks very pink, I don't know why they call it peach, but That's probably what has that different, almost peachy tone to it. Well, that makes sense. As you can see that tone change when I color with it. Not sure if it shows as much on screen as it does in real life. But try that combo and you'll see. We'll see how it works. Super pretty. And we're going to put this color in our hummingbird as well. So that'll be pretty too. So now we have to do just the tip of these little bitty buds coming out. Or, I don't know, to me it kind of looks like it's the end of that flower's life instead of the beginning. <laughs> you get to see Jamie at 11. <laughs> Okay, you're jumping off. We'll see you tomorrow, Kaylee. Okay, so those are our pink flowers. Now I'm going to use just two of the BG colors that I chose for our hummingbird. But I'm just going to use two of them for this inside part of the background. So I'm going to use BG13. And I'm just going to go in here and give a little bit of color inside this. Just because I think it'll make it really pretty. want to be careful not to pull that pink out too much. Or not at all if possible. Or the green. I'm just kind of putting a little bit along the edges. We'll show some shadowing on that. I like these colors together. This blue is pretty. So I guess the Copic app was pretty good at picking these, matching these colors for me. These little, little, little areas right here, right here, I just colored them all in with this one color because it's such a teeny tiny space. But these other ones like this, I'm going to leave them for the second color. And then our BG-11. And then if we need to fade that or blend that anymore, we'll use the colorless blender. But I think this will be good. So just using this BG-11 to finish off. So really I only used two colors on this one.
Hey, Glenda. I wanted to uh, call you tonight. If this live doesn't go too long, I may give you a call afterwards to see if you're still awake. I need to talk to you about a few things. Okay, so there we go. I just put a little bit of that background in there. Hey, girl, I'm so glad you jumped on and said hi. I miss you. I am going to throw in this colorless blender a little bit. Just in the big areas. Just kind of lighten that up just a little bit. Not in the little areas. <laughs> I do. Did your ears burn this past weekend? Because we talked about you when we were at the show. We missed you a lot. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of pink on our hummingbird, but the most most of the hummingbird is going to be in the blue, green, and the green. Sure you do. Sure you do. We do. Uh, back to the BG-18, BG-15, BG-13, BG-11. That's what we're going to do with the hummingbird. Now, with when we do the hummingbird, we're going to do... Um, the, we're going to use dots when we do him. So I'm going to do just doing really teeny tiny little dots. So give him a little texture. I've colored a lot of these little, this hummingbird a lot. I like him so much. I think he's really super cute. I'm not going to go in his feathers at this time. But I'm going to build a little bit of a wall here around where his wings are. Just adding a few more extra little dots because they'll fade a little when I use the other colors. <laughs> Look at there. There's Mama saying hi, Glenda. BG15. And now I'm going to build that solid color along his body on the underside where the shadow would be and then dots more dots more dots more dots I'm going to start going up in his wing a little bit here. This part right here, I'm going to make that more green along with his head and his feathers down here. So he's going to be a three-tone little hummingbird. This one is BG-13. Filling in more dots here. Filling that body a little bit. I may have to come in and add a little bit of that dark color on his wings that I missed the first go round, but that's all right. We can do it. Okay, BG-11 is the last one in the color combo, so that's where I'm going to use it more on the side and fill in those lighter areas with more of this color. So kind of laying on the side of the marker, not pressing down too awful hard because I don't want to bend the nib. 
There we go. I feel like that lightened him up a lot, but I'm gonna try to leave him a little bit lighter than, than I normally would. I am gonna use BG18 though to come in here and put some shadow between these wings and here. wanted to make those just a little bit darker and in order to smooth them out I'm going to use BG15 there we go I think he needs a few more dots in here so just filling that out okay so I'm gonna hold it up so you can see the dots a little better but see how he's just kind of spotted and he looks a little more textured so now we're going to come in with the G's that we used. So G07, YG45, YG05, and YG11. We're not going to do big areas with these, but we want to have some. So we want, we're want we trying to tie in the colors. So this is the G07, so it's the darkest one, and I'm gonna build a little white area around his eye. More dots again. Kinda go down over the, the blue a little bit. And then this area in here is gonna be the green as well, and I'm gonna pull out these areas with little tiny strokes. brush strokes so we can give it a little bit of texture that kind of follows the same pattern as these little wings and I don't know why this one doesn't have that but we're gonna kind of build that on there because I think it needs it so it'll match I think it probably was supposed to be there but it just never got there so going to do these bottom feathers here in the green as well and then these and then these will be the pink hello thank you for jumping on I'm glad you like it YG 45 is next so just going out a little further from the last green color we put on there, out a little bit here, then we're going to just extend these out a little bit further. I'm trying to go in between. The little strokes that I did with the other color coming out pretty good so YG05 is next this one will have a little bit more because I, I want really want to show that that color and then we'll touch it up with the last color at the end This is a brighter green, so it kind of jumps out a little bit more. Sort of using it as the true color. The last one is YG11. And that's going to finish off the greens. Just going to blend those together a bit. I always like leaving that little white area around his eye because I think it really makes his eye stand out. So I highly recommend doing that. Finishing off his little... This one I'm going to come from the other direction. 
and push those colors back because I don't want to fade these little stripes I put in there with the other greens. So I'll show you. See, I want his, I want those little stripes to stay in there so it looks like feathers. So that's my plan. And sometimes I put this green, like I'll just touch in here a little bit, kind of makes those blend together. I don't always do that, but sometimes it's a little bit helpful because it makes the blue green blend really well together. See? I really like that. Okay, so time for the little pink wings. So we're back to our RV29. Our RV14. Whoops. Our RV25. Our R43 and R32. So we'll start with the 29. This one I'm for sure cleaning tonight. Look how dirty that marker is. I hate it when they get dirty like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start from this area right here. And I'm just gonna go alongside, on the same side, all of these little tiny feathers. They are tiny, so I'm holding my marker upright. I'm not going all the way because I want the tips of the wings to be really pink. I'm just going part of the way. I'm going to go over here. I'm doing that line along the inside part. Well, I almost did that right outside. I almost just went completely outside the line. Good thing I caught myself. RV14. I'm just going to use a little bit of this one because we still have several in our color combo. On the next one, I'll go all the way out to the edge. Okay, so now they're really looking pink. So these other colors are gonna lighten that up just a little bit. So RV25 is our next one. And I'm just gonna extend out that color all the way out to the edge of his wings, all of them. There we go. Okay, and then we have RV 43 and 32 left. So we're just gonna hit it with the 43 very lightly. And I'm gonna go around the edges here. Prepare for that next color. Filling in any little spots that I might have missed. Okay. And then our last color is R32, and this is the one that has the peachy color to it. So I'm gonna actually go from the end in because I don't wanna pull this dark out, I wanna push it back in. I want to do more making it lighter rather than darker. Okay, doing these one. 
ones as well. Oh, this is such a pretty color. I like it a lot. So here we go. Look at how pretty those wings are. You can really see that peachy color in there. So now, you get to actually watch me fussy cut them out. <laughs> because we don't have dies for this one, so I can't cut the dies really quick. So I'm just going to fussy cut these. So when I do that, I like to first cut off all the excess paper here. Makes it easier. Cut out these flowers. See, it bugs me when all this paper is hanging off the edge like that. So there's one that we're gonna fussy cut. And then I'm gonna go in here, cut all this excess paper off. And this is why sometimes I have more paper there. So I can do all the scribble things like this and then I can just toss that. Okay, so let's just go, do, go ahead and do him first while I have him in my hands. So we can talk about whatever you guys want while I fussy cut this little guy out. I do lots and lots of fussy cutting. I do have a brother scan and cut, which I use sometimes, but because it takes a bit to get it out and everything and we only have two images, I thought, well, I'll just fussy cut these real quick. Doing a little zigzaggy because I want you to be able to see some of the bumps in the little wings. So pretty, you like them? I love this stamp set. I hadn't colored it in a while, but I did color a whole bunch when we did some make and takes last year. I colored a lot of hummingbirds. And that's why I thought, oh, I should do that again tonight. I love that hummingbird. There we go. So now our little hummingbird is ready. I such a good fussy cutter. Well, you know I do a lot of fussy cutting. <laughs> And I think because I do so much, I'm kind of fast, faster at it than people would be just because I've done it so, so much. That's why sometimes it's just easier for me to fussy cut than to get the scan and cut out. If I have a lot to do, I'll use the scan and cut, but if I just have a few, or if I'm in the car, I fussy cut a lot in the car. I'm obviously not driving. <laughs> obviously my husband is driving so I can fussy cut. But I've I've done diamond dots in the car and fussy cut. I can't really do a lot of color and I can color on glitter, but I can't really Copic color in the car. That's the only thing I can't do, but everything else I can do in the car. I like to cut off those. I don't like it when I have a big old tail hanging out. No tails for me. I'm good at fussy cutting. <laughs> I do it a lot, so I have a lot of experience. I used to be really slow at it because I like to get it really close and I didn't want to cut anything off, but I've been doing it for a long time. I usually, oh, 
keep my scissors still and turn my paper makes it easier. Don't know if everybody does it like that, but that's the way I think it's easier. I've cut lots of, I've fussy cut lots of stuff for Glenda. I always say, oh, give it to me, I'll do it. I like doing it. <laughs> I kind of like fussy cutting. I just don't like to do, you know, a thousand fish. I still have a huge stack of fish that need to be cut. I'll probably break out my scanning cut for that. Unless there's a road trip coming up and then I'll do it in the car. All right, almost done. Thank you for being patient while I cut these out. I really appreciate it. All done. So now we have our two. <laughs> you like cocktails? <laughs> Me too. So I chose this green card base. So I'm gonna use my espresso. It's gonna give you a little earthquake. I also like to put a white paper inside my cards so people can write on them or I can write on them. Don't tell your secrets. <laughs> You know I like I like to fussy cut and cut paper. I like to fussy cut and cut paper. Clearly. But I don't do it for just anybody. Only good friends. Only my bestie friends. Oh, and I would probably do it for my mom. <laughs> So I'm just going to put this on the inside of the card. I like to cut it at four by five and a quarter. It's a little bit, it's a quarter inch smaller around every side. It's a little bit different than what Jamie usually does, but that's, that's the way I like it. I like a little bit more edge to it. And I thought I was going to um, cut this paper already, but I didn't get, I didn't get it done. So we're going to cut this paper. <clears throat> this is my little Tim Holtz trimmer here, and he marks where the card the card cuts are. So I just do a, do them a quarter of an inch smaller. There's the four and a quarter, so by four. So he sets it up really nice for you on this little trimmer. You don't have a single piece at the moment. Well, it's a good thing I need to call you about when I'm coming to see you. Okay. So I chose this paper because I thought it was I thought it was super cool and I thought it would look really good with these flowers. I have dog hair on my paper. Don't ask me how. He doesn't get on my desk. And if this is the barely art glue, and if you don't have this, man, you should try it. Because seriously, it is the best. It's the bomb diggity right here. Don't use anything, I don't use anything else except occasionally I'll use score tape. Okay, so now we have that part done. I actually cut out a sentiment that I thought would look really good with this before the live. I'll make sure these aren't curled up. So I thought I would put this one, this here, and this is my little, my little paper I cut out that I thought would go really good with this. And then I'm gonna just pop up my little hummingbird up here. So I'm gonna glue this down. Don't need a lot of glue. So I, I usually am not squeezing the bottle very much when I do it. Gonna lay it on here. Looks like a watercolor background, but it's really just design series paper that I found in my stash. Nice. I'm gonna pop up this hummingbird though. 
This is just a sentiment that came with the paper. Like, you know how sometimes you get a stack of paper, uh, when you purchase a stack of paper, it also has, oops, good thing this glue dries clear. Um, it sometimes has a sheet of sentiments as well. well. I found this one and I thought it was a really good one. So I need to pull my sweet pops out and put them on my little hummingbird. So I'm just gonna cut them, but I'm gonna cut them with my tape scissors. I have them marked as tape. So I always use the same scissors for sticky stuff so that I don't get all my scissors sticky. I prefer to do it that way. You can just cut these in so many pieces. What's the purple thing I'm using? This, this is my espresso. I use it as my, kind of like my bone folder and you can also use it on your Misty to press down. I love it. When you use it on your card to do the burnishing the score line, it doesn't leave any marks like the bone folder that I used to have did. We have them in the shop in all different colors. I actually have the purple one and the pink one. So when I have when my friends come over, they have one to use as well. I like to share. You can even cut these in teeny tiny pieces. You see that? I love it. I want to make sure this doesn't show outside of my hummingbird. And then I use my awesome little tweezers here. Yes, I do. <laughs> I like to share. I do like to share. I like everybody to be happy when I'm crafting with them. So I, if you come to my house, I will share. Okay, so here's my little hummingbird. Just gonna hold it with my little tweezers here. I'm gonna stick him up here. So now he's popped up on my card. So now my card looks like this. And I'll, I'll zoom out in a minute, but first I wanna stamp the back. I always stamp the back with my sweet sentiment stamp I got going on here. And then I sign it. So you always get, if you get one from me and it's sweet, sweet sentiment, it'll have a stamp on the back just like that. So there's nothing on the inside. I usually leave mine blank because I like to write my own message in there. And then there we go. That's what we have for tonight. So what'd you guys think? Was that, did you like that? That was super fun, huh? And see, I think I'm glad I left all of this white because I think it looks really good on there with the white. It makes it stand out for sure. I like it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to join me tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, when I show you all of the awesome cards that I made for the release that we have tomorrow. Six stamp sets in the release. And I'm super excited about it. So you guys come visit me. And you'll be able to see my face in that video. Because that won't be a coloring video. That'll be a um, reveal video. So come back and see me tomorrow. Jamie at um, 10 a.m. Central Time. Me at 2 p.m. Central Time. And maybe Cooper. And then um, we'll... We'll meet back here again on Monday. Don't forget about daylight savings time, though. <laughs> so you're not at the wrong time. So thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Bye.